Hi again. Today we're going to learn how to write a formal letter. I'm sure everyone is quite familiar with a formal letter. So step number one, please identify the format. The question is, where can you find the format? And of course, you can find the format. Uh, at the bottom of every question paper okay so i hope you can find it a few moments later okay here is an example of a letter okay this is actually an actual uh, spm trial question 2020 okay by the way this is from joho eh? okay as you can see uh, I have include a blue arrow there okay so the blue arrow is pointing at uh, three different things okay three different important things which are the format okay let me read out for you so the first one is lay out your letter correctly okay uh, there are four things mentioned there address salutation title and closing each of this represent marks so you can consider uh, this as free marks don't lose this marks okay okay then you use you need to use all the notes given okay and you can also use or give your own ideas when needed and you have to remember this is also as a reminder your letter okay especially your address the address of your letter is to the district health department okay and then uh, as part of your contents you have to make sure you include uh, the ex the issues you express the issue and you provide suggestions and also measures and by the way all the main ideas are already given and again as a friendly reminder you have to lay out your letter correctly all these four things address salutation title and also closing so the format are divided into three eh? F1, F2, and F3. So F1 is for address, F2 is for salutation and title, and F3 is for closing and signature. So next. Okay, next we move on to step number two. In step number two, you need to identify and underline the objectives from the question. You can use the objectives later on as guidelines and later these guidelines will help you to write an effective introduction. And for your information, effective intro is really important to make your essay really interesting. Next, let us read the question first so that we will understand the objective of the question. So, COVID-19 has not yet receded. Recovery Movement Control Order, or also known as RMCO, is extended until 31st of December 2020. Various attempts should be done to raise people's health awareness in combating the pandemic. As a responsible citizen, 
you have to write a letter to the district health department regarding people's lack of health awareness and provide suggestion to curb this issue. And as I mentioned earlier, this uh, question, or also known as objective, you can use this later on as your introduction. I will teach you how after. Seven hours later. Next, we move on to step number three. Please underline the objectives from the question. So, you need to underline the word starting from the word COVID-19 until combating the pandemic. Okay, yay! You are nearly reaching your goals. Okay, so are we ready? Okay, we will move on to our next step. Okay, next we move on to step number four. In step number four, you have to write the address. Okay, this time around, you have to make sure the address must refer back to the question. So in this case, because in the question, it is clearly stated that you have to uh, include the address of district health department. Okay, and this will be different with other questions. Still depends on the question. One eternity later. Next is step number five. In step number five, you have to write salutation and the title. For salutation, you can use the word sir or madam. Sir is used for male and madam is used for female. Hmm, what about the title? Normally, the title you can take from the question and the title normally you can find as at the last sentence. Next is step 6. In step 6, you are required to start writing the introduction. You can start writing your introduction by copying all the sentences in the question. Still, uh, normally student asks where to start. Okay, this is where to start. So, start copying from the word um, COVID-19. COVID-19 is at the beginning until to curb this issue. However, you need to change some words. So, the words that you need to change is you need to change the word write a letter to I'm writing this letter to. So, this will be your introduction. This is the end of part one. Okay, in the next video, in part two, later on, we will discuss about the issue, suggestions or measures to curb this COVID-19 problem and also at the same time to promote health awareness. Okay, everyone. So, we will stop our lesson with that today, with what I have explained. So, I hope uh, you have learned a lot today or at least you have learned something valuable uh, for you to use not just in the classroom but with your friends with your families or with your loved one okay so uh, this is what I want you to do and don't forget for all my classes first of all please make sure above here please make sure you watch my video and please don't forget to subscribe and like for more of my videos next number two also don't forget to fill in the attendance for every classes it's really crucial eh? crucial means important by the way and number three okay don't forget to do the exercises so i hope everyone will learn a lot and eh? and keep on learning english